All right, here we go. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to create Chrome stickers in Cinema 4D and Redshift. Somebody asked me the other day in the comment section on how to do this. So this is your tutorial, my dude, right up here. And uh, yes, so I do take requests. If you have any requests, feel free to post in the comments and I might get to it one day. Who knows? So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is create some PNGs for your stickers. And for each sticker, you're going to need two PNGs. And these are transparent PNGs with alphas that I created in Photoshop. And using the Nike logo as an example, uh, just like any other c tutorial out there, we always use the Nike logo as an example. We're going to need a base layer with the overall cutout of the sticker and another layer, a second PNG, that will have the black parts sitting on top of it. So in this case, this is the base layer that's going to be the chrome part, and this is going to be the black part that sits on top of it. So you're going to have to separate that out, and you see that I've done the same for all the other stickers here. So chrome, not chrome, chrome, not chrome. I think you get the idea. Let's jump into C4D. All right, here we are in Cinema 4D with our Macintosh floating in space with the Chrome stickers. So for the sake of simplicity for this tutorial, I'm going to turn off our Mac and use a sphere instead to demonstrate how this is done. So uh, first, I'm going to create a material for the sphere, a very simple one. Something like this. And I'm going to now create a sticker material. So go to Create, Materials, Standard, double click it. And firstly, I'm going to turn metalness all the way up to one and make it white. So now we're going to have that base chrome material for our sticker. And now I'm going to drag in our base PNG for the Nike logo and pressing C on the keyboard, search for a color splitter and we're going to plug this in here and, and uh, I'll put the alpha channel to our opacity. And as you can see, we have our opacity, um, our alpha channel applied to, to this material. And now we're going to create the um, other black material that's going to sit on top of it. So let's drag in our other PNG and we're going to do the same in terms of getting a color splitter in there. And what we want to do now is to blend um, two materials together. So first, let's create another material. And for this one, I'm going to make it black. And pressing C on the keyboard again, I'm going to bring in a material blender. So I'm going to put our first chrome material into our base material, connect our material blender to the output, and I'm going to insert our black material into our layer one material color, and I'm going to um, use our color splitter alpha into the blend color. And now you can see that this Nike logo is sitting nicely on top of our chrome base. All right, exiting this, I'm now going to apply my Nike logo on top of our ball. And in the settings here for projection, I'm going to choose flat, sides, I'm going to choose front, and turn off tiling, and going to coordinates and choosing the texture manipulation mode. I'm going to press R to rotate. And on coordination, I'm going to make this smaller, way smaller. Okay, and here we go. So this is how you create a Chrome sticker in Cinema 4D and Redshift. If you're wondering how I applied all of these other stickers here, overcoming a Redshift uh, material limit, so Redshift has this uh, limit where 
you can only apply something like seven or, or seven uh, materials at one time. And if you want to learn how to overcome that, I created another video for it, uh, which I'll include in the description below. But hope you found this useful. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know what you create out of this. Have a good one.